Good afternoon. My name is Scott Rudd, Chief Strategic Officer at T3Live.com, and welcome to today's daily recap and look ahead. 观众朋友们，大家好，感谢您收看本期《直击美股》，我是沈真理，在纽约向您问好。今天是四月三日，星期一。今天是第二个季度的首个交易日。就上周五结束的第一个季度而言，标普五百整体上涨百分之五点五，这是自二零一五年以来的最高涨幅。道指整体上涨百分之四点六，纳指整体上涨百分之九点八。股市的上涨主要是和特朗普的上涨有密切的关系，主要是源于市场对于特朗普交易的信心。但在特朗普一改挫败之后，市场目前整体处于观望的状态。目前投资者关注的焦点主要有两点：第一点是企业财报，第二点是经济数据的公布。在经济数据方面，今天供应管理协会公布数据显示，三月份美国工厂继续扩大生产，同时汽车企业在美销售数据显示，三月份汽车企业在美销售整体低于预计。在个股方面，特斯拉今天股价暴涨。该企业宣布，在第一季度汽车交付量高达 2.5 万辆，远远高于预计。本周四，中国国家主席习近平将对美国进行为期两天的国事访问，获得全球关注。更多详细资讯，请关注今天的交易员访谈。Hi Scott, today is the first trading day of the second quarter, and last quarter was a terrific one because S&P 500 has gained its most gains since 2015. So how do you see its trend this week? Well, I think they did some price discovery today, and this is probably not going to be as good as first quarter, but it doesn't mean we can't have some more gains. But yeah, when you sure. first come into the you know the new quarter, you know the computers like to fish for stops. What does that mean? It means like today we were down about 150 points in the Dow or 15 handles in the S&P and then came back up. Let me show you what I'm talking about here on the chart. First of all, if you remember, you know, this was the momentum trend right here. That momentum trend broke. So if you happen to reduce risk or got short here around 23.70, you had a buyable opportunity about 40 handles lower. And then you rallied back up into resistance. So what do you do into resistance? You probably pause. So for today, they fished for stops underneath this spot but then came all the way back up. So for now, I would say use this as your point of reference for the week. If you're still long as an active swing trader, 2344 is your level. That is your spot where you want to be long against. And we'll see if the range tightens. And then at some point, if the market wants to go up again, it needs to cross above this descending trend line right there. Financials um, have lower P/E ratio than S&P 500 in general. They're also trading lower than their 20-year average of price to book value. So, how do you see this trend this week? Do you see a buying opportunity there? I think today some people might have scooped up some of the banks. The banks broke uh, some of the upper levels um, that it was holding last week. I, last week I was long a few of the banks and I sold on Friday. Unfortunately, I didn't get back in today. But I'll give you Bank of America as as a basic um, you know example here. This is when the momentum trend got broken. So some traders that might have gotten out of this up here could have said, hey, I'm going to buy back support, right? You broke, you sold here, you buy here. And then today came in, was weak, and then bounced off it. So I would say if you bought today, you know, you have a stop now at 2308. If you didn't buy, maybe you buy versus that. And if the banks are going to go up, it's going to have to clear this spot. So as of right now, use Bank of America as your example. Okay, it did kind of hold in there after some early morning weakness. So see if this continues to hold this 23 area. And if it does, and the market wants to rally, it's got to then reclaim this 24, 2405, which was resistance the first time there. Tesla had tremendous gains today. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. And uh, um, talk to us more about the other stocks on your watch list, like 10 names. Okay, well, Tesla, uh, depending on your time frame, was a grand slam home run. Could have been if you're an investor in Tesla. Anytime you bought Tesla before today, you made money. If you're a swing trader in Tesla, you're making money. If you're an active trader, you could have done it. Lots of different ways to do it. You know, first things first, it was the focus of my 2017 Redler report. Why? Because it broke this descending channel here. Went all the way back up towards uh, the peak. Then it came back in. People weren't sure, was that it? And then boom, cleared this uh, 8 and 21 day again. And, and rallied up and then did this again. Okay, now for today, it rallied and gapped up above this point and closed strong. So you could have bought it here, you could have you know, bought it here, you could have even bought it today. But the important thing is, a lot of guys are like, oh, it's so extended, it's gone so far. You know what, it really hasn't. This is a four year channel, it's just breaking above. Four years, okay? Back in this part of the channel, 
It was just Tesla Motors. Now it's Tesla Inc. with infrastructure, with alternative energy, with you know just a little bit more and the whole autonomous wave boom. So although it makes it look like it just had a big rally, go back sideways and it might have just started with the measured move being 80 points, which takes it to 360 at some point this year. Thank you so much. I think that's all for today. Okay. Uh, tune in tomorrow and uh, we'll have more for you as we connect the dots. Hopefully you are prepared today and uh, you'll profit tomorrow. 感谢您收看本次直击美股，我是陈周丽，祝您交易顺利，我们下节目再见。